So this is the EEL6825 final project, facial recognition and tracking using Eigenfaces PCA-based detection algorithm. Uh, I am Aditya Venkat Subramanian. Uh, the problem under study uh, is facial recognition. Basically, facial recognition is a biometric system that is comparable to um, uh, fingerprint identification or iris recognition in order to establish the identity of a person. Uh, facial recognition is a challenging task. Uh, this is uh, so because a human face can be found in many different situations with many different expressions um, and uh, uh, many factors on the face, like uh, the type of hair, um, the presence of glasses, and whether the eyes are closed, and the different facial expressions in itself. The identity of a face is unique. There are several unique identifying factors of a face, unlike uh, PIN numbers or passwords. Uh, PIN numbers or passwords are easily detected and can be duplicated, but a face, uh, except in the case of twins, is seldom duplicated. Uh, the applications of facial recognition are extremely important, uh, starting with law enforcement. Um, if uh, the police are searching for some suspects, they will go through uh, video footage that is available, run facial detection algorithms to determine who the person is and compare it to uh, the database of images of all the citizens that they have available. Um, another application of facial recognition is for access restriction. So it is a biometric system like your fingerprint, like a thumb identification uh, in order to restrict ac access to certain sensitive areas in the workplace or um, wherever it may be. Um, another uh, upcoming usage of uh, facial recognition is in video games and virtual reality. Like for example, in the Microsoft Kinect sensor, um, several users uh, can be identified by their face and the system can provide uh, customized uh, look and feel and different video games and customize player data to each person that is uh, using the system. Um, there are several approaches to facial detection uh, and facial recognition. The first is uh, the geometric approach using eigenfaces. Um, the algorithm extracts relevant information, encodes it efficiently and compares it to a database of images. Um, another method is feature extraction approach using the line edge map. Uh, the line edge map is used uh, basically uh, uses the Sobel filter in order to determine the edges in a person's face in order to identify the different um, features that are available in the face. For example, the eyebrows, the nose and the lips and the eyeballs itself um, in order to identify and compare with the database of images. It uses the line segment Hausdorff distance algorithm used to match uh, the line edge maps of the different faces to the database of images available. Other approaches, uh, far more complex approaches are linear discriminant analysis and elastic bunch graph matching, uh, also known as the Fisher face, al Fisher face algorithm. Um, the approach that we will be dealing with is the principal component analysis using eigenfaces. Uh, principal component analysis is a mathematical procedure um, that uses an orthogonal transformation uh, it converts possibly correlated values in a set of values uh, into linear uncorrelated values called principal components. Now, principal components can be thought of as the identity that the uh, face is made up of. And uh, matching this critical identity with the database images um, is the basics in which uh, this method works. Um, based on the application is also known as discrete coherent lobe transform. Um, the eigenfaces are known uh, are essentially the eigenvectors of the trained images that we have um, in the database. Now, uh, the process of the principal component analysis uh, that is used in this project, um, initially a database is set up with uh, the eigenfaces of the training images. So there is a folder with, which contains all the training images. Um, when a new image is found, that is when the test image is applied to the system, um, the set of weights is calculated for the test image. By set of weights, I here mean eigenfaces. Uh, the free space of that new uh, image is compared to the free space projections of all the previous uh, database images and the corresponding image is obtained. Now, the basic components are, uh, as we have seen in the MATLAB code, we have the database creation, 
that uh, uh, vectorifies all the images found in the database folder. Um, the PCA engine comes next, the principal component analysis engine that computes the eigenfaces for the test images and uh, computes the principal components. By It does this by computing the mean of all images and the difference or the deviation from the mean of all the images uh, uh, from the, and the centered images are merged with the deviations. The third component is the recognition component where the eigenfaces um, are computed for the new test image and are compared with the database images uh, eigenface vectors to find the image with the least deviation from the database. Now the match databases image is identified and then present, projected for authentication. The performance of this system, the test images were successfully identified as we have seen in the running of the MATLAB code. Um, this system used only two training images per uh, test image that we have. And the performance, of course, will naturally improve with uh, the more training images that we have. The performance is not affected by uh, lighting or the presence of spectacles, as we have seen um, in both the examples that we have in the uh, running of the MATLAB code. The code is highly optimized for fast computation. As we can see, um, the uh, system delivers the results extremely quickly. Um, in conclusion, the principal component analysis uh, yields good results with uh, the existing database, which is not a very complex database. The line edge map uh, system is simply too complex for simple face recognition uh, with a limited training database. Uh, the system we have in place right now uh, is not affected by lighting, um, other conditions like difference in clothes, um, facial additions like spectacles, um, and uh, better results will be obtained with a larger training database. Uh, improvements to this system uh, can be the utilization of video cameras uh, to detect uh, the face as well as recognize the face um, of a naturally streaming video system. Thank you very much.